Hey, how's it going guys? Today we're going to be taking a look at these WT32 uh, ETH-01 controllers uh, and how they are extremely useful for running WLED, uh, which is a LED software that has like a web interface. You can control it through an API, all kinds of stuff you can do with it. Add it to Home Assistant. Um, WLED is fantastic. You can also input SACN or ArtNet for DMX. Yeah, these uh, boards are really useful. Uh, you're going to need one of these adapters. I'll link it in the description below. It's probably 10 bucks on Amazon. Um, but yeah, let's get started. Okay, so once you have uh, your board and your adapter, you're going to take your board and you're going to look on your adapter for these pins so you can see transmit, receive, and ground. And you're going to match those up. So I happen to know that blue needs to go on top. So basically, you're going to put your transmit and receives in in the correct spot so anywhere that it says transmit on here uh, you need to be receiving it on the other end it needs to be the opposite uh, then you're going to take your three volt which should be that third pin yep um, and then finally your ground which you're going to take from a ground pin and you're going to put that into a ground pin on here And actually, this is the last one now. So last one, you're going to take this IO0. You're going to put that into the ground, just like that. So IO0 right there needs to go into ground. Transmit, receive, go to that. And ground in 3 volt 3, go to that one. That's all. Then you just plug it in. Then you're going to go to install.wled.me. Right here, you're going to select your board as Ethernet. Click install connect to your um, device click install install and there you go so as you can see the pins are doing things the lights are doing things and it's currently racing just give this a couple minutes it'll flash the firmware on there then you're going to go set it up and i'll show you how to do that next okay so we are here now on the laptop again we're going to click wled ap we're going to click connect so we just connected and now it's going to actually pop up a screen, um, kind of like a Wi-Fi login screen if you're on like a guest Wi-Fi network. It's going to pop up a screen here in a second, uh, and it's going to show you how to, well, it's going to show you like the Wi-Fi setup page. So once you connect to that, which doesn't look like I did, oh, there we go. So it's going to pull this up, and if it does not pull this page up, you can go to this IP address, 4.3.2.1. Uh, as long as you're connected to the Wi-Fi. And sorry, the password is WLED1234. So WLED1234 is what that password looks like. So, yep. And you're going to click on Wi-Fi settings and scroll down. Enable your Ethernet port, which is what I would do. Yeah, there's some new versions here on the newer hardware. Um, but yeah, WT32 ETH01 is what you're going to want. Um, and the rest of your setup is going to be inside of LED preferences. And I would actually always turn off this brightness limiter. But, so, by default, this mapping GPIO 16, which I don't think is even possible on these, unless it is. Um, yeah, I don't see an IO 16, so I don't know how it's getting that, but I usually use two for my first one, and typically the LEDs I make are about 60 per meter. Oop, 60. Uh, and GRB. You might have to mess with the color order, but typically it's GRB. So, yeah, then you're going to go down, you're going to click save. And sometimes you have to say send, but that is really all you have to do for this. Um, you can even go down here to the controls um, and you'll be able to see. Yeah, see, there you go. You get all kinds of presets that'll pop up once you add your LEDs and once you connect it to a Wi Fi network. Um, you'll have all kinds of colors, presets, segments. WLED is a great software. That is about all. Thank you for watching. Hope you have a great day. I'll see you in the next one.